Hello, my name's Jane Porter and I'm a children's author and illustrator. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this picture book, The Boy Who Loved Everyone, which is a story I wrote and the illustrations are by Maisie Paradise Shearing and it's published by Walker Books. I wrote the story three years ago at a time when I was visiting a nursery every week to do an art project with the children and there was one little boy in particular who used to say I love you to everyone all the time. He used to say it to me, to the teachers, to the other children and nobody quite knew how to react. You could see they liked it but it made them feel perhaps a little bit embarrassed. Um, but you could see that it was having a good effect on people and I thought it would be nice to do a story about that boy. Um, it also happened to be around the time of the referendum about leaving Europe and the morning after the result everybody was feeling very low at the nursery there was a, a sadness in the air and this little boy completely lifted it by saying I love you to one of the nursery staff which made me think that he really deserved to have a story so that that message could spread out a little bit further. Um, Maisie the illustrator came and spent a couple of days at the nursery and drew the children and the teachers and has done such a beautiful job of making the setting exactly like it is in real life. This is Olive who is a teacher at the nursery and all the little details like the ladybird cushions and all the toys and the odd socks and things um, just make it feel very warm and true to life. I won't show all the pictures in the book now but I'll just quickly turn to one of my favourite pages which is this one right here when the little boy goes to bed and he's feeling very sad because he's been telling people at his new nursery that he loves them all day and no one said it back although of course his mum does say it to him and she says he's her best best boy. Um, when I started writing the story I knew I wanted it to be about a boy who loved everyone but I didn't really know what the plot would be uh, and then I got an idea from the classic film It's a Wonderful Life um, which is about a man who feels that uh, he's got everything wrong and the world would be better off without him but then an angel comes and shows him what an effect he's had on everyone around him and in a way this story tries to do the same thing so the next morning the boy doesn't want to go to school but his mum takes him and shows him along the way how everybody is either looking happier or sharing their love to other people or animals along the way and how he really has made a difference. I often go and visit schools to talk about this book and read the story and when I do one of the things I like to do is um, talk about feelings and how you can tell how somebody's feeling. So um, you might want to look at a picture such as this one here. I think Maisie has just got so much emotion into that and a nice thing to ask children is how they think this little boy Dimitri is feeling and why they think that. What, 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 what are the clues? to do with his body language and his face or the context and maybe to talk about if there was somebody feeling that way how would they how would they respond and what would they be able to do to help um, you could also talk about things like why the man on the bench is feeling so sad and why he's really a little bit angry what what's that all about so there's all sorts of clues in the pictures that you could use as a talking point. The other thing that I really like to do that is a little bit off the topic of the boy who loved everyone himself, in the book it starts with a story time and it ends with another story time. And on each of those pages I've mentioned a story that's just a made up story. So at the beginning the teacher is telling a story about a volcano, a dragon and a magic teapot and what I like to do with classes is say let's make that story up together and so on a board, I'm just going to use this little clipboard, I will do something like draw the volcano. It's quite nice to draw some fire coming out of the top and a little bit of lava and then 
I like to say there's our volcano where does the dragon live and children always have lots of exciting suggestions maybe he lives right here in the top of the volcano enjoying the extreme heat maybe he little, lives in a little cave down at the bottom sometimes he gets a little temple halfway up all sorts of surprising and interesting ideas come up and then I like to draw the cave maybe start with the dragon sleeping inside there Let's give him a little bit of green So there's the dragon and then we have to think about how the magic teapot is going to come into it so I like to say where is the teapot does it belong to the dragon does it belong to somebody else and how can that magic teapot lead to an exciting story so sometimes I'll just draw the teapot here and some amazing and wonderful suggestions always come up which are different every time and I like to say what sort of magic does the teapot do? Sometimes the answer is it just makes tea whenever you want. Sometimes it might be it's got wings and it can fly or it's got legs and it can walk or maybe it grants wishes like Aladdin's lamp. Anyway there's usually a very interesting story to be drawn out from a school group about the relationship between the dragon, the teapot and the volcano and then Perhaps you could say maybe another character could come along who owns the teapot and wants it back.